Hi, and welcome to AGI 32's Site Lighting Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of using AGI 32 to help us light a simple parking area. The tutorial is broken into a series of nine videos to allow you to follow along in small segments. If you complete the entire lesson, which you should, you should gain the confidence to produce lighting analysis for parking sites of most any scale. Note, the completed project file is available in the AGI 32 sample files collection. It's called tutorialsitelighting.agi. Hopefully you've already downloaded these files. Beginning with step one, let's select the calculation method and set the units. Begin by opening a new file in AGI 32 if necessary. Click the new file icon on the toolbar. The majority of site lighting analyses are performed considering only the contribution of direct light from luminaires to pavement. This ignores reflected light, of which typically very little comes back to the pavement anyway. This will be the assumption for this tutorial also allows us to use AGI 32's direct only calculation method. To change the calculation method in AGI 32, click the small arrow to the right of the calculate icon. Select direct only method. Notice the icon changes on the toolbar. We're now in direct calculation mode. Verify the units of AGI 32 on the lower toolbar. It's now set in feet and foot candles. If your software is not set in these units, Click the button and make the change here. Step 2. Import a CAD created parking lot drawing. Most exterior applications begin with a CAD created background drawing. Here you can lay out your luminaires, place your calculation points, and add other possible elements. A background drawing allows you to correlate the luminaire locations to appropriate areas in space and provides a sense of scale for the project. AGI 32 provides the ability to import CAD created drawing files in Autodesk DWG or Universal DXF formats. Simple backgrounds can also be drawn using AGI 32's drawing tools. For this tutorial, the CAD file we need is one of several sample files that are available online at AGI32.com, as we mentioned before. If you have not already done so, you will need to download the sample files from the AGI 32 website. After you've done this and installed them, please return to AGI 32 to continue. Click on the Import button. This is on the Common Toolbar. Navigate to the location of the sample files. By default, the samples are installed in My Documents, AGI 32, and there will be two sample files folders, AGI 32 sample files and CAD sample files. We're interested in the CAD sample files folder. Locate the tutorial site lighting.dwg file and open it. When the CAD import dialog opens, click on the CAD viewer button. This allows us to see a preview of the 2D drawing. All enabled layers are selected by default. Verify the unit setting in the import dialog. This is in the upper right hand corner. The CAD file units are assumed to be in feet. The import engine is set to keep that unit setting. The total extents of the drawing is shown here. When working in two dimensions, if you have a z-coordinate, you may want to flatten all the drawing entities to z equals zero. Click OK to continue the import process. The parking lot background will appear in AGI 32's model mode behind the import summary dialog. The summary describes what's been imported and if any, non-imported entities existed. Click OK to close the summary window. It's always a good idea to verify the scale of your drawing by some known dimension. In this case, a parking space will do nicely. Zoom in and select the Measure Distance command from the upper toolbar. Click the width of the space. Click the right mouse button. Notice the total length of the line is 9 feet. Our drawing is to scale. If your import is out of scale, it's best practice to use the undo command to remove the imported file and simply begin again. You have the ability to change units or add a multiplying factor to get the scale correct. Once imported, the contents of the import can be controlled from AGI 32's Project Manager. Click on Project Manager on the upper toolbar. Click Load the Project. Notice the name of the imported file. Here are the layers that were imported. You have the ability to turn them on and off with the checkboxes. 
Go ahead and close Project Manager.